Hello friends, this is the first video in the Java programming series and in this video we're going to be learning how to install Java and set up Eclipse which is basically an environment to run Java. So Java is basically a programming language that is very efficient and Eclipse as I said is just an environment. So the first thing you want to do is check if you already have Java installed. So to do that just open command prompt and just type in Java. If this comes up saying that it cannot recognizes, recognize it as a command, that means you do not have Java installed. If it shows you a bunch of lists of other commands, it means you do have Java installed. If you do, you can just skip this step. So for those of you who don't, let's go and download Java. So do it, just go on Google and type in Java download. And it should be the first link. And here, just click free Java download, the latest version. Just agree. That's going to give you an exe, just run the file, administration stuff, and then it's going it, to, it's basically pretty straightforward, so it's going to ask you to agree to all this stuff, and it's going to download install and all this stuff, so I'll just skip this step. So once Java is finished, it's going to give you this message, and it's going to open a browser saying you have to verify it, but it's fine if you have Chrome, as it, as it Chrome doesn't support Java now, so to check it, just open command prompt again and just type in java and now you're going to have a whole list of commands telling you that now you have java installed so now the next thing we need is this thing called java jdk which stands for java development kit and this is this is needed because this this basically helps us make our java applications and you, you're going to need it if you want to make a uh, anything in Java basically and so remember that the, the kit has to correspond with the version of your Java so we got the latest version of Java so we'll get the latest version of the development kit so you just accept the license and you just download which one the a file according to your operating system and it's going to give you an exe file so I'll just speed that up so once this finished you can just run the exe file and it's going to take you a pretty straightforward process of just installing it, it's going to ask you the basic stuff and just let it, let it do what it's doing because you're, you're going to need all the files so make sure you don't like disagree with any important files so and just wait for a second it's going to show you everything and you want to install everything here and then it's going to do all this progress stuff so I'll just speed it up so once that is finished the last thing we need is Eclipse to for a neat environment to um, develop our Java applications. So just type in Eclipse download on Google, and it should be the first link, Eclipse.org. And it's gonna have a bunch of different versions of Eclipse. And so, so depending on what you want to develop, you can download uh, a different one. The one that I'll be using is Eclipse IDE for Java E developers, which is probably the one you want to go for if you want to develop web applications. And it also gives you a bunch of other tools which which could be helpful. So it's good to just download this one. And mine's Windows, so I'll just download this. And just click download. And then it's going to give you the exe file, I mean a zip file. And this zip file will contain all the files you need to run Eclipse. So I'll just speed this up. So once the zip file is finished downloading, you can just open it up if you want to read what's inside, which is just a folder called Eclipse, which is all the files you'll need. So what we're going to do is extract this to a place where it's going to be like, where you're always going to use it. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. And extract, and I'll just speed this up too. Once that's finished, you can just go to where you installed it. You can also close everything else off so to make it faster. So just open Eclipse, the folder, and you'll see you'll have a bunch of files in here which are important. The one that you'll be needing to run it will be this one called Eclipse Application, not Eclipse SEC, but this one. And at the first, you, you'll want to right-click and run it as administrator, so then it loads up faster, but every other time you can just um, open it normally. Also, the first time you open it, it's going to be a bit slow, but after it will speed up. So I'll just speed this up. So once it has loaded, it's going to show you this workspace thing. So this is basically where, it's, where Eclipse is going to store all your projects, all your code in this one folder. So if you want, you can just leave it as default or change it. Also, you, you should check this check mark so then this doesn't pop up every time you open Eclipse. And you just click OK. And now it's going to open 
a first time Eclipse interface. So I'll just speed this up. So here is what it looks like when you first open Eclipse. And if you want, you can just play around with it. Also, in the next video, we will be looking at creating our first Java program. So for now, we can just close Eclipse. And that's basically it for this time. See you next time, friends. Oh, <laughs> oh,